Well, until next time, Las Vegas, you're nothing but uh, somewhat kind to me my whole entire time here. This right here is going to be nothing but all but a memory, and uh, I kind of figured, you know what, why not just show you guys our room and what we were working with the last few days. So, like, if you came in through the front door, you'd see we have these beds. It looks so nice. You know, we have this, like, giant mirror right here, which was pretty cool. And then you'd walk into the bathroom which was pretty nice. I mean, obviously get your own little toilet, whatever, bathroom right here, and then like a nice shower. I hope like when Nick's done doing the construction at the Rigid House, this is what the bathroom will look like. In all honestly, I don't think that's what the bathroom at the Rigid House will look like because that's like a $10,000 bathroom, but this was kind of a fun time. It's something that uh, I'm definitely not gonna forget and you guys know what they say. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So I've been just, you know, taking my time, packing up. Got my bags packed, backpack, suitcase. Everybody else has got their bags packed. Been watching a little Pawn Stars. I actually wanted to go to the place, but uh, unfortunately, just did not have enough time to go there. I mean, we found Jesse. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I actually thought about when coming out here, coming to Colorado, Utah, I had a drive through Arizona, and ended up here in Nevada, Las Vegas, or Las Vegas, Nevada. I was actually considering firing Jesse, and uh, I decided against not firing him, and that is because, you know, yeah, he does have all that time off. It is uh, something as an employer I did give them, but the one thing that just pisses me off is like the phone calls. Anytime I go to call him, he doesn't answer. Anytime I go to text him, he doesn't answer. I tweet at him, doesn't reply. And it's like, it's so frustrating from an employer standpoint because like he just literally started the brand new job and then he's just gone. And uh, on top of that, he scanned me at a few grand. So I was kind, I decided to, uh, you know, keep him on board, but just give him his first strike of three. I could be making a mistake here, but at the same time, I don't think so. Anyways, good morning, Sax family. How you guys all doing today? Hope you're on a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not yet subscribed, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you never miss out on any videos that I post here on my channel. Like I said, today's the last day in Vegas and, uh, you know, it's pretty fun. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Made some money, lost some money. Um, in general, I would say I probably broke even. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's only just money, right, guys? Um, but anyways, I had a fun time here. I'm glad we found Jesse. I'm glad we kind of talked some sense into him. I'm glad he should be coming back to the house very, very soon. And um, also, at the same time, we almost got kicked out of this hotel. Thanks to Shallow literally screaming at Jesse in the middle of like a lobby and stuff. So that would have sucked. But um, speaking of shallow guys, today is it's Monday, August 2nd, as you guys can tell right here, and 6.17 uh, p.m. Our flight leaves in the next few hours, and uh, we don't get back till like 6.30 a.m. Eastern, so August 3rd. So we're doing some time traveling tonight, and I kind of feel bad because Shadow only has one day left and you know Nick and I are in too deep with telling him that he's been evicted so we're just gonna let it happen at this point I mean it was Nick's idea and for us like you know it could be a prank like everything else he's done but when he's not mad Shadow's actually pretty cool when he's also not destroying my shit either he's pretty cool um, so yeah, I just figured I'd pick up the camera one last time while here in Vegas and, uh, say this. Vegas, thank you for the memories. Don't know the next time I'll be back here. Uh, never expected to come here in the first place, but had our reasons to find my friend and my employee. Guys, next time you see me, uh, we'll be back in Dirty Jers and, uh, back at the Rigid House, which is a place I miss. I've missed live streaming. I've seen the tweets, like Swift, when you post a new video, Swift, where's the live streams at? And to be honest, like throughout most of the drive out here, and like from Colorado to where we're at, the internet hasn't been great. So I've just been filming. So 
yeah, um, I'm gonna be back definitely soon on the stream grind. Hope I see you guys there. Do some just chatting, by the way. If you guys wanna pick up the fuck shallow shirt, link will be down below in the video description, or the teeth, teeth screen thing should be on the screen. Um, all that money is gonna go to three different charities. The Wounded Warrior Project, Feeding My Starving Children, and also the Trevor Project. Three charities, I figured, you know what, why not? Just pick three random ones and uh, help some people out that do need some help. Yo, Shell, what's going on, bro? Our flight really should like, we should have been on the plane by now, as you see that. It says 10.05 boarding. It's currently 11.06. Uh, it's like a strike or something that they're doing. Yeah, Spirit. apparently Spirit employees, pilots, and attendants are on a strike. I just want to say this now, fuck Spirit Airlines. <laughs> For any of you, don't ever fly Spirit, fuck Spirit, and fuck hey, this airport, too. Hey, hey, also Shallow, Shallow, don't forget to get the fuck Shallow merch, too. Oh, yeah, that, too. Anyways, hey, uh, on the real note, bro, look right there, man. It's the 2nd of August, almost the 3rd. Oh, you know wow. What, yeah, thanks for reminding tomorrow, me, man. Right? Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Bro, come on. You're going home back to Florida. Yep. To your mom, your dad, Josh. Bro, come on. I know you miss reverse Josh, bro. Nope. No? Nope. Come on. I don't. Anyway, shall get get that merch. What do you want, Swift? Are you just gonna? Are you, are what you is gonna, this for? Are you, are you laughing at me? No, just no, no. I'm going home. No, no, I know is, when I'm going home. No, my other question is: Are you gonna make fuck spirit merch? Because like we got the fuck shallow merch. Maybe line. that's the next. Maybe that's the next line of merch. Fuck yeah, spirit. Fuck spirit. Yeah. I like that idea. Sounds good to me. Hey, shall guess what? Hmm. I'll talk to you when we get back in Jersey. Okay. About what? Nothing. Nothing, dude. You have something you want to tell me? No, like I met like I'm sitting in the front of the plane. And you're like in the middle of the plane, so like I won't see you. So like I'll talk to you back in vlog when we get back. You know? Okay. Yeah. Sure. You know, like good roommates. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Spirit Airlines scrubbed even more flights today after a series of cancellations and delays, but dating back to the weekend. The budget airline reports it's trying to reboot operations now. It canceled half of all its flights today, more than 340, and it's scrapped more than 1,000 since Sunday. Oh, I didn't expect to wake up to this view this morning. I was expecting to wake up to my, like, ceiling, my computer, and all that in the rigid house. Unfortunately, last night, our flight home from Vegas got canceled. That's because about 99% of Spirit employees Pilots and flight attendants are on strike. By the way, I'm trying to be sarcastic as fuck because fuck you, Spirit. You know, like, we get lucky that and fortunate that we do YouTube. We do social media for a living. But there's regular people out there that have regular jobs and, like, a lot of situations going on in their own life. Like, I saw somebody tweet at Spirit, like, hey, like, my father-in-law is in the ICU. And the only thing he did was basically canceled my next day flight as well. And they're basically fucking people over and it sucks and like for us like we're very fortunate for what we do um i know like me and nick don't have to be back right away but like shallow over here is like out cold obviously today's now august 3rd so he has to be back by the rigid house today packed and moves out tomorrow so yeah that kind of sucks for him um anyway but the thing that like genuinely pisses me off is that we sat in that airport for five hours they kept delaying the flight, and they're like, we're waiting on a flight attendant. Still waiting on a flight attendant. A flight attendant shows up, everybody's like, yes, let's go. This is great, we're going home. Nope, not, not the case whatsoever. What happened was, he basically left. He left as well, which left all of us waiting for our flight. Uh, ways to try figuring out what to do. So we got lucky. I had booked an extra night here at this hotel earlier that morning because we had that late flight. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm booking us a, uh, oh look, a yellow fire truck. Sorry guys, I get distracted very easily. Uh, for me, it's like, yo, look, squirrel. But uh, I, <laughs> but like, we got fortunate. I had booked this room very early in the morning, like 9 a.m. for the rest of the day so we could sleep in, we could do whatever. And we just had the place to kind of just to ourselves to chill and relax. And fortunately, that came in clutch due to the fact that we had a place to stay last night. I don't want to sleep in the fucking airport. I was like, you know what, guys? We sat in the spirit line forever, and it feel, felt like a COVID hotspot, to be honest. And, uh, 
Now we're back at the hotel, which don't get me wrong, I love this hotel, it's nice. I wanna get back home, I wanna get back to Jersey. And we're not even flying to Philly now. We have to fly to EWR North, which is, uh, funny enough, my mom is picking us up now because it's an hour and a half from the content house. So, yeah, I don't know how her and Shallow are gonna go. I don't think my mom watches my videos, so I should be fine. But, uh, hey Shallow, buddy. Hey Shallow. Hey man, question. How mad are you at Spirit? Very mad. Fuck Spirit. Hey, you know today's August 3rd, by the way, right? Yes. Left and, uh, you know, like when we get back, like you gotta pack, right? Uh, I'm aware. Yeah. All right. You know, like I wish we could extend your stay, man. I wish it didn't have to like end like this, but um. It doesn't have to end like this. I know. Maybe you could try talking to Jeff, dude. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, um, hey, by the way, we gotta like check out in like 30 minutes. Okay. So if like you want to shower or whatever and get ready to go. Yeah. Uh, cause we're flying Jet Blue. The big blue jet of the sky. Nice. All right. Yeah. So yeah, guys, I figured I'd just update you. Uh, if you want, everybody go on Google, Google reviews, whatever, and give Spirit a oh, half a star or one star review, and just say they fucking suck, right, Nick? Yeah. Like, bro. How bad did they fuck you over as well? I mean, bro, we're still in Vegas and we wanted to go back home, so. Yeah, so like, <laughs> you guys want everybody <laughs> one star bomb them. I'm totally fine with that. I mean, I feel like everybody is, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. Within the next five years, because Spirit's probably been one of the shittiest airlines out there. Five years from now, Spirit will be out of business. I'm just saying it. With like, they knew, they knew this was gonna happen. They knew our flight was gonna get canceled, but yet they still let us booked it uh, a few days to go home. And also, they they basically had us sit there like fucking idiots and waste our time. So fuck you, Spirit. Um, next time you guys should see us, we should be back home at the Rigid House. Home sweet home, back here at the Rigid House, guys. Not gonna lie, I've absolutely missed this place. It's good to finally be back. Uh, traveling sucked, spirit sucks, never gonna fly with them again. And uh, shout out to my mom for driving us from Newark all the way down here to the content house from that airport, because that was the only way we could get home on time for then Shallow to move out on time. Um, I actually kinda feel bad about that. But before I talk about that, because it is August 3rd, it's around 11 p.m., Nick just went to bed. I know I gotta keep my voice down because Shallow is uh, in his room, I think, packing right now. I've seen the tweets. I've seen a lot of you guys been asking, yo, Swift, when's the next live stream? Do me a favor, just follow me over on my Twitter and I'll literally just post a tweet like, yo, guys, going live tonight. Um, that's how you guys can kind of get the update. But I just want to say this. Do I feel bad about Shallow now moving out? Yes and no. You know, all the stuff he did to me, like, ah. Uh, Kind of past that, you know? But also, like, uh, dude, my drone, that meant so much to me, and the kid literally destroyed it. So, I feel bad. So, I don't feel bad because of all that stuff. But I do feel bad because on the trip, you know, when Shallow's not angry, he can be a very chill person. He was actually very cool. And I actually kind of feel bad that he's moving out tomorrow, and there's literally nothing we can do. So Shallow Man, um, I'm kinda gonna miss you. Not much, but just a little bit, man. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like, subscribe, turn on.